Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot. This is a Valentine's Day special which will be relating more to love, romance and relationships. So for those interested in those areas of your life, this reading will be for you. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. Who's thinking about you this Valentine's Day? Okay, let's have a look. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're heavily influenced by the Virgo um, Virgo sign in your chart. This reading may be applicable for you. Okay, four cards. First card we have here, Virgo, is the Ten of Pentacles. Fellow Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn who is thinking about you with the Ten of Pentacles here. This is someone that's quite established. You might know this person through your career. I feel like you all have already established direct or indirect contact with this person here. So for some of you, I feel like this is a friend. This could be an earth sign lover or partner. There's a notion that you've created something together here you know you've created solid foundations as indicated by the tower in the background here it's also the card of income legacies creations etc so for some of you you may have a person uh, you may have a child with this person sorry you may have a baby um, you might have created something here because the star of creation is here and whether that's in business whether that's in life but there is the element of creation around this person with the Ten of Pentacles. So you might have created something with them. There's a legacy that stands or still stands. Or you once even had a life with this person here, but they're thinking about you. Um, I'm not sure if this is an ex, however, and it's all, it's almost like they're looking back. You see how she's looking back to the tower? This could be an earth sign ex you were once connected to, you know, created a life or a relationship together once upon a time, and they're actually reflecting back on what you have. They're reflecting on the house you used to have, the home you used to have, the things you used to do as a family maybe. Um, something like this is coming up for some of you with the Ten of Pentacles, but it's familiarity. It breeds familiarity, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's someone that you're familiar with um, in some regard here. For some of you, it's a new property. Um, you're creating something new around this Valentine's Day. It's something around the home, something around the family. You're receiving, I think it's a large gift. It's a large gift. It could be um, an asset, you know, it could take you by surprise, but it's something to commemorate your union, to commemorate what you have together um, in some regard here with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, the next card, Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely beautiful energy here, Virgo. Wheel of Fortune, cycles, love. Some of you have definitely been on a cycle with someone before. This can indicate that uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, this person is a fated person that came into your life or is currently in your life. And because of this, with the Wheel of Fortune, this person is, you're still connected to them in some, in some way here. You can see the sort of, the, the wires, everything is interconnected in some sort of way here between you and this person. I really feel like some of you are involved in a fated relationship here. Um, this is the universe, God, the angels. This is the wheel of fortune. You are supposed to have met the person that you're currently dealing with around this Valentine's Day period. You might receive some sort of clarification and or validation from the universe that does in fact reiterate what I've just said, that this person is fated, that this is destiny calling you towards this connection, this person, this relationship and everything it has to teach you. But this is a wonderful cycle, a cycle that's fated. We're meant to meet this person, journey this path. You were meant to meet this person, journey this path. It led you to them. But I do also think there's something about a past cycle here, a past lover who's missing you. But this person was also fated to be in your path. Um, Maybe you encountered some sort of a significant milestone with this person in regards to love here, Virgo. There was something significant that occurred between the two of you, um, but and it led to maybe your next relationship or it led you to something, but I feel like it's all interconnected. And, you know, some of you are flourishing on this beautiful new cycle, something about time and, and things being interconnected here. So maybe you need to give the relationship um, more time, the connection that you have with this person more time. But it almost looks like the tree of life here. You know, you see this flower and it's just sort of blossoming. And there's fairies and then there's what looks like a star of creation in the middle. It's just, it's really amazing here, Virgo. This is a very powerful card um, to have around you. 
I think wonderful changes and new cycles will begin either around Valentine's, just after, just before. So I think that, you know, there's major changes happening for some of you in regards to your love life. Okay, let's have a look at the next card. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the Knight of Cups. Okay, there's a water sign here that's missing you, longing for you, either has made you an offer of love and you're currently in a beautiful relationship together. I'm so sorry about that truck that keeps reversing. Anyway, um, the Knight of Cups. Oh, here we go. The Knight of Cups and, you know, this really points to... This really points to a beautiful and very honest love. Um, I feel like someone is coming in with an offer here. I'm not sure if you're friends on this person here, Virgo, for some of you, but they're, they're, it's culminating into something. Some of you emotions are going to grow high. Someone's going to offer you something. It could be a gift, like it could be a tangible gift, but I honestly feel someone's confessing that they're falling in love with you or really falling for you. Um, you know, it's a confession that comes with the Knight of Cups. It's honesty, it's sincerity, and it comes from a very honest place. And I feel like this person is coming in with this sort of energy around them. You know, the Knight of Cups is honest, is open, and look what he's, you know... Someone is really prizing a very beautiful and very sacred connection they have with you. Um, it is a water sign, and I do think they're in love. Um, and he looks to the Wheel of Fortune here. This person, wow, this is powerful. Some of you want to have, some, some of you are dealing with someone that wants to spend the rest of their life with you. There's rings here. Could be a proposal coming for some of you or the notion of eternity of forever or possibility of a forever with this person here. This is powerful. There's definitely someone around you that wants to settle down. This is someone serious, someone that can offer you this life, someone that can offer you tangible um, and, and physical um, futures, you know, a house together, life together, children. It's very powerful here. But I do believe there is someone fantasizing about you. And if you're already settled, which for some you absolutely are, you're settled, you're settled with a soulmate, you still have someone you might know as a friend through work or through a personal um, social sphere. And this person, their emotions are growing for you. They may reveal it. They may not. Of course, that's up to them. But I do believe something is culminating here uh, for a lot of you with the Knight of Cups energy. Okay, Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, Nine of Swords. This person is thinking, 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 thinking. I'm not sure if you've had a burdensome past with this person here, Virgo. I see that this person is troubled to fully express themselves. It's a spiral. I almost feel like for some of you, someone is spiraling out of control because they can't stop thinking thinking about you Virgo you're constantly on their mind you know the nine of swords is feeling trapped in your thoughts it's something that keeps coming to you whether you want to think about it or not someone is reliving either a past connection you once had or is thinking about you and perhaps is unable to express themselves for some it's because you're coupled up already Virgo um you're involved with someone else here and if this is the case and I feel there's someone here that's spiraling out of control with their thoughts um or they feel stuck. They feel like they keep having the same cycle of thoughts. Look at all, this, all the wheels here. Same cycles. It goes round and round. Someone is, you know, you're 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 in their mind. You're just racing around in their mind. That's all they're that's all they're diverting their attention to is you. So this is quite powerful. But it could just be an air sign that's that's thinking about you a lot. Um, you know, and if you've recently have been. Um, if you are involved with someone and you've recently had some sort of a miscommunication or a mishap um, in, in your words to each other or something like this, I feel as though this person is remorseful, that they keep playing back the conversation. Um, and, you know, there is a confession here or an apology, something pure and emotional coming with the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, you may this person may release all these thoughts um, with the Knight of Swords energy. It's releasing that spiral of thoughts. It's it's going back to that conversation and replaying it. Um, or something like this is coming up for them with the Nine of Swords energy. But look, this could be different people here, Virgo. You know, you do have different elements. You've got air, water, earth, 
Um, you know, there could even be fire here. So it really, you know, there's a lot of yellows here as well. So it could be someone that is influenced by fire somewhere in their chart as well. So maybe, but I do, I, I do feel looking at these cards here that this person, you know, it could be several different people, but if it's the one person, you've created a life with them. Um, and for some of you, this person is going to come back in your future. Maybe not in a romantic sense. Maybe you may hear from them around this, this late February period. Um, and it's just them reaching out reaching out to check in on you, reaching out to connect with you, to reconnect with you, even if it is just in a friendly, you know, platonic way, not necessarily in a romantic um, way. So look, I will leave it at that, Virgo. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please share your thoughts below and hopefully we'll chat soon. Thanks again, Virgo. Bye for now.